Hi again guys, I'm back again with an update of my Raspberry Pi. Um, so last time I left off, I contacted support, thought I had a DOA Raspberry Pi. Turns out that is not true. Um, the Raspberry Pi only works on a Wheezy operating system. Now for those of you that don't know operating systems for Raspberry Pi, in Kiara terms that is like the basic of the basic, no fun loving operating system. It's just the standard. Like honestly, if you get a um like Raspberry Pi 2 or whatnot, like it comes with Wheezy or something close to it. Um so like I stated, um unboxing, I really wanted a Raspberry Pi because like want to be on some like next level mess, like walking around, throw that in my backpack and that would be like a really dope computer to just like have on the go. So I'm thinking like, ooh, I got I can put Ubuntu on it, I can put like Mint OS, I can put Kali Linux, something and just make it like a go to I'm on the road, but I don't want to carry my big laptop type of computer. Um, it's not true. Um also wasn't ready for it. I'm not gonna lie, I researched a little bit, thought I was ready, didn't have the um MIDI HDMI to HDMI, didn't have an SD card. I thought I had an SD card though. Like, I don't know what happened with that one. Um, didn't have an SD card, didn't have like the little charging to normal USB thing. Um, I just used my Android charger to power it. Like, I just overall wasn't ready. And I remember reading about the goal of this product being like an easy entryway for people they either were like on a budget, like third world country, whatever. And I just feel like that fell short. I think that like this five dollar thing turned into like twenty to twenty five bucks and realistically like if you're if you're trying to get people into the market easily without spending all of this money, like honest to God, I I could have like just dropped an extra twenty or whatever and got all that in a pack for like the Raspberry Pi 2. I just don't think they went about it correctly. Could just be me. Um I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm just kind of really disappointed with the product. Um but since I did get it to start up, we'll show you guys a time lapse that should queue in right about now. So yeah, that's um me playing around. I got Scratch, had Minecraft. I don't really know what was going on with my Minecraft. I haven't played it in a while. So as you can see, I didn't have a house. Um, If I keep this, it'll just be a Minecraft computer. Let's be honest. Uh, just, just Minecraft. I don't really see what else I can do with it. I don't feel hopeful for anything else I could do with it. I don't know. I'm just really bummed about it. Um, that being said, I don't know, I'm thinking about giving it away. Like, let me know down below, or I guess like the message or whatever. If you'd like for me to have a giveaway with the pie, um, yeah, I'm just bummed, so I'd rather give it to somebody else who's gonna use it. So if you want to use it for your cool projects or whatnot, you know, send a comment. If it gets too overwhelming, I'll make some type of drawing. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's going to be, if there's just one person, hey, you got it. So, yeah, those are just my pros and cons of the Raspberry Pi. 
um not really mad that i spent five dollars on it so i'm just mad at my high expectations for it but it's all good it's all good man i got some i got some more stuff i can show you guys um and then i'm thinking about getting the raspberry pi 3 so we on the come up yo it's all that matters <laughs> all right hope you guys have a great week see you later